All the news that the 1% media won't publish. Welcome back to the Occupied Sun for the Occupy News Network. I'm Anne Narkey. Contrary to 1% media reports, housing rights activists, the Sweet Stopians, are still continuing to resist eviction on the Sweetsway estate in North London. It's been nearly a fortnight since the 1% media swarmed all over the high profile eviction of Sweet Stopia. 16 arrests were made, two of them anons, who have now been held in custody since Wednesday, 23rd of September. Dan has been live streaming throughout the Sweetsway occupation for the Occupy News Network on Bamboozer. He is one of those who were arrested at the last eviction, and he's now been threatened with deportation by the Home Office. Obi headed over to the Sweetsway estate to catch up with Dan and find out what's been happening. Hi guys, okay, we are outside the Sweetsway. Sweetsway N20 resists. This is Dan, one of the guys actually uh, I've been here for a few months defending, um, well, yes, all our uh, housing rights. So Dan, what happened? What's the uh, Sweet 16 about? Well, we had a big showdown in the end. Army of bailiffs um, raining from the sky and we had two days of siege. The second one was uh, trying to defend Mustafa, mm -hmm. the last uh, family's father, disabled Iranian refugee guy mm -hmm. uh, from being ambushed by the bailiffs and 16 of us have been arrested in the process. Okay, and uh, what's happened? I mean, I, as far as I remember this, they kept him for more than 24 hours, I think, wasn't it? Um, some of them are still in, in custody. They've oh, been shipped into a prison because they're not giving their names, so we have two anons. Okay. And the rest of the people, some people got charged, some people didn't. I see, what were they uh, charged by? Uh, are you allowed to say? I think so. Why well, suspicion of doing something, so... In my case, anyway, uh, obstructing a high court bailiff, okay, or an officer of the high court, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, for those it. who don't know, officer of the high court or high court bailiffs, and they're not actually um, working as such for uh, the state. They're not police or anything. They're uh, companies. Yeah. They're private companies. They've been living with us for weeks. That's the best about it. When the bailiffs came, mm -hmm. if people probably seen those violent um, videos when they attacked us and they started beating the girls up. Uh, Okay. <clears throat> we knew that they weren't security because they didn't have any badges, okay. badges. We called the police on them numerous times and at some point the police told us that they were bailiffs. But, but they, uh, ba they were bailiffs, they didn't, but they didn't even identify guys. them. So, I mean, it, they could be, it could have been anybody, really. I could yeah, have, they uh, were people in high vis saying security and that's all. And that's it. So anyone in, a, in a, something that looks like a, a police uniform can go up to you saying, I'm a bailiff, Yeah. I don't like your face go away yeah, and they and have no authority to do anything bailiffs only have the authority as they evict as they have the court papers and the authority from the court to to do their job okay and that's it so with this case we will find out how you can actually resist lawfully a high court bailiff we are lucky because it seems like it's most of the evictions were the illegal so they had i think eight buildings uh, they had yeah, they had eight buildings on their court papers that they could have visited, mm -hmm. including Mustafa, but not the other ones. Not the other ones, so they... No, that court paper, I think, as far as I know, they expire after 90 days or something, okay. and that was from March. So they tried, uh, which is the same thing that they did in, uh, in many of the central London yeah. um, empty buildings that were occupied. Yeah, usually uh, they try to get you out illegally or, or as, as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, in here we were too much in the public eye. We're also like in zone four or five, okay. and we started multiplying like crazy. We had more than a hundred people in the end. Uh, you have been following the spirit of the law rather than maybe yeah. the letter of the law. But uh, the Home Office is going after you as well because this yeah, there. Like there's no other way to. I okay. Mean, they, they, there's some some strange force that tries to find everyone's weak spot somehow. Yes. Because when they locked me up. I was fine with that. I had a chat with the police officers. They mm. were also pretty bored like me and they couldn't charge me with anything and just at some point they handed me a, a paper from the home office from the immigration in the custody cell mm -hmm. that's all this is nothing to do with us it's between you and them you're from hungary you yeah. regularly go back there uh you go there by uh, by car you go there by uh, uh transport you don't actually yeah, fly so <laughs> because I, I it's not because of england but because of hungary i don't like when those people see when i'm entering that country and when i leave 
And now they are closing down the border, so it's, it's getting worse and worse. It's getting worse as you're trying to get into Hungary. Yeah, 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 I'm fighting the beast here because it has much more effect on, also on Hungary when I'm doing activism here than when I'm doing it there. That's cool. I mean, like, this is the city of London. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. City of London. Uh, if you want to find out about the finance, all the financial corruption of the world, yeah, you just have to go to uh, City of London. Yeah, it's like a nerve center of all the dirty money and everything. Yeah, so. correct. But then at the same time, they they're claiming that uh, you well, you don't you have no recourse to public funds. You uh, yeah, I never touched government money. I really don't want to start now. Okay, I don't trust governments and I don't want their money. So I'm, I'm self-sufficient, but apparently you have to prove everything with uh, receipts. So I paid a lot of taxes in this country, I worked my ass off, sometimes I had three jobs at the same time. And this, this is my best job so far and I'm not even doing it for much. Yeah, by the same time you have to uh, tell them the, uh, where you've worked the last six years, yeah. where you've, uh, uh, all the documentation, everything, and plus the fact that you... My girlfriend, they want to see everything. It's, it's like you mention anything, you have to prove it. If you say that all oh, my family and my papers burned down in a, in a house fire, then they want a receipt from the fire department. <laughs> so that's just making it more and more complicated. It reminds me of the Hungarian bureaucracy, but it's worse in some ways. Yeah, this, this is just bad. I, I've, I've been avoiding bureaucracy for years, and now I get a big dose of it in my face. And I couldn't even say anything, because every five minutes they were threatening with deportation. So that's all they can do, apparently. I said, track my uh, tax details down. Everything is there. It's my card. Oh, we're not really exactly friends with the tax office. Okay, then, then see when I left the country, when I came back. Oh, wait, we can't really access those information. What can you do? Well, we can deport you. <laughs> so they can Thank deport you, you but they can, otherwise they can't actually uh, prove anything, what, about you, really, <coughs> that you exist? No, no. Nothing, okay. If I hadn't turned up there, then... Nothing would have been done. Yeah, probably, <laughs> I don't know. I should have just told them that I'm going to Paris and um, I'll be back next week. <laughs> Suck this. What's the uh, Twitter account that they need to follow? So uh, what the Swiss favorite is, but it, that's why I use hashtags because it's easier and you can see the Twitter accounts. Okay, but this for, also for was. The rest is it's the hashtag uh, sweets, like sweets way with an S in the end. Okay. And with number 16, sweets 16. Okay. And uh, sweets way resist is one of the accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, we are posting stuff on our Bohemia, at our Bohemia. Okay. And also the troops. I see the brand wagon here next to me. Yeah, well, of course, you can always follow us on the Occupy News Network. Thanks, Obi and Dan. We'll be right back with more news the 1% media don't want getting out there.